So we're here this morning on the banks of the beautiful River Kent for our annual cleanup at Kendall Mountain Festival. We've been running the event for four years now with Dan and with Piranha and it's, uh, it's an opportunity to really show not just to the people of Kendall and the film festival, just to get people out on the water and show that there's something we can do to be responsible for the spaces that we go and uh, enjoy. Hi, I'm Reg. I'm the digital community activator for Trash Free Trails. This is really important for us because not only is reducing single-use pollution in places that people love important to us, it's also about collaborating with other organisations who have similar aims and ambitions such as ours. Queen River Kent, it's a coalition of communities from all up and down the, the whole catchment of the River Kent and we're all just quite concerned about the quality of the water and especially the amount of bacteria that's going into the water. If we do get bathing water status, it means there's a duty for the authorities to test for bacteria in the water for public safety. I mean, naturally, a salmon would be able to swim up a natural river and spawn at the top of it, but now with um, developments like dams and weirs and river defences, it makes it much, much harder for the natural river ecosystem to thrive. It, it's pretty nuts. It doesn't feel as natural anymore. It doesn't feel as, even though it was always in the middle of a town, right? Um, it doesn't feel like, yeah, it doesn't feel the same anymore. Every single barrier that's put into place is a barrier to that ecosystem being a whole functioning ecosystem. and. You know, you can't say that that's what's killed the salmon, absolutely not. You can't categorically say that, but it's definitely making it more and more difficult for salmon worldwide to thrive. What's really struck me is that it just needs somebody to have the idea to start this thing off and you can just see what's grown, like the number of people that are coming out to help us tidy up and look after and clean our area is amazing. I think uh, the paddle sports community is awesome, the brands that are involved for the most part are enthusiasts as well and really on a personal level for us we play in these environments, it's what we make our boats for. We want to make sure that they're the best they can be and as clean and protected as they possibly can be. And it's just a good attitude to get into. This is Robin, cheerful one in here, and she loves picking up litter, regardless of how dirty it is. So actually, yeah, fabulous. It's good to have some prongs at least. The thing that got really people really excited were the baby otters swimming, when people could go and watch them from the, uh, from the bridge up there and see them swimming around. We're here today, but you could do this yourself on your own river, in your own local park, or in the wild places you know and love. And I really want to encourage everyone to just think, if I'm the trigger that starts something like this off here, then you could be the trigger that starts something off in your area.